it's August and it's hot and I'm out here at one of my favorite public hunting areas I do a lot of hunting up here I know this area pretty well um, but I'm gonna do some deer scouting it's always better if you can start right after your season ends in the winter keep tabs on the deer herd through the winter keep an eye on them in the spring see what they're doing over the summer and then when the season opens you got a good idea where to go and target to get your game in the fall when the season does open but let's face it a working man has a busy life and uh, what's a guy to do you can't always get out there all the time and scout also conditions may prevent you from scouting for instance we've had torrential rain this spring and summer it's dumped rain and my favorite area here some of my best spots are flooded in fact this field right over here I often see deer in wasn't even planted it's been so wet and even here in August it's still got ducks and wading birds using the field believe it or not this is a problem because the deer have probably relocated from their traditional areas and found some other spots a little higher ground to hang out in so we're going to get out here and see if we can't do a little summertime scouting and figure out where we're going to get this fall to kill our deer well i was making my way back in here to an area i know that's a little higher ground and uh, i found a bean field that had been planted and it gave me high hopes because that bean field draws deer in the evening. One of the best ways to scout deer during the late summer is to find an agricultural field and sit on the edge of it towards dark with binoculars and see what comes out. I got back in here and as I was making my way up around the edge of the bean field, I noticed a severe lack of deer tracks in the mud. There just weren't any. So I got back in here to a spot that I've hunted before on the back side of that field. It's about 80 yards back in the woods there's a nice oak tree here that drops oaks and the deer congregate here early evening before heading out in the field to feed. I found this spot years ago and I've seen quite a few does back in here and a couple nice bucks making their way through to the acorns here but as you can see my spot's flooded <laughs> so uh, I may check back here a little later in the season but it doesn't look very promising for this year so I'm gonna get out of here I'm actually gonna go find a different public hunting area I might be back here later this year for ducks but right now it's not looking promising and these mosquitoes are tearing me up okay so once I left the swamp down there I came up here and I'm in the foothills of the Allegheny Mountains now it's fairly easy to find another hunting spot I just went online looked up public land on my state's DNR website and I found a place that was out towards the mountains I figured there wouldn't be as much flooding and I started seeing deer tracks as soon as I walked onto the area now after a bit of hiking I found this uh, trail coming off the edge of this creek heading down and you can see it runs up this hill here so I'm gonna go up and see what's up on top of this hill so I followed that deer trail from that creek crossing up here on top of this hill. And it is a nice little flat, but I'm not seeing what I wanted to see. It's real thick in here, and I'm not seeing a lot of oak trees. It's mostly sycamores. I was hoping it would be some place the deer were coming to to feed in the evening. But I'm seeing walnuts. I'm seeing sycamores. I'm not seeing a lot of sign of oaks which is where I'd like to be on a white oak drop early in the season when it opens. So I'm going to go ahead and follow this trail down on through here, see where it's going. So I was following that deer trail down and it came across this foot trail. And this is really interesting here. I'm going to have to keep my eyes open. So I continued to follow that trail up the hill. And when I got to the top, there was a cross trail. 
And I could see the trail was active because even though it was hard to see, you can see their little triangular imprints in the detritus on the forest floor. And so, yeah, the trail's active. As I got up across that trail where it crossed there, this opened up and there's this forested opening here. Now I continued down the trail and that trail ends up coming out here into this soybean field. Makes sense. That's where the deer are heading in the evening, coming out here to feed. So that trail would be a good setup for hunting in the evening. And I can see on the soybeans here that that definitely is what they're coming down this trail for. If you look close, you can see where the tops of the plants have been nipped off. So they're coming out here and feeding, definitely. But you might see a few other guys hunting there with you. People like to hunt field edges. It's open, you can see a long ways, you can see a lot of deer. The problem is though, is that you do have that company. The deer are aware of that. And when they emerge from the edge of the timber, they make their way quickly into the middle of the field, not offering much of a shot. So to avoid those problems, what I did was I backtracked off that field back into this open area in the forest. And I found what I was looking for this massive white oak tree. And this isn't the only one here in this little opening either that those trails come through. There's one about 10 yards over this way. And there's another nice one about 30 yards over this way. So what I'm gonna do, look around in here, find a tree that offers me a 20, 25 yard shot right in here under the branches where this oak's gonna drop its acorns this fall. And hopefully I'll be able to catch those deer before they get up in the crowd on the field edge. For more tips on scouting that hot spot for deer this fall, see our video, Public Land Tree Stand Placement, or watch our series, Public Land Pope and Young, with scouting tips in each episode. And be sure to click our logo to subscribe and see how Mike does this fall at the White Oak.